And what is Embracadero C++ Builder? So Embracadero C++ Builder is an integrated development environment which consolidates all those developer, uh, all of those tools the developer needs to write, test, build, and run the C++ program. Um, so I just want to tell a few words about the process. So when we're going to open the builder, you're going to have this view, which you, in the main view, you're going to see like a, a text editor. This is where we're going to write our code, okay? Now, once we want to make our code executable, to make it a program that then we can run, we're going to start a process that's called build. The build will basically going to do those steps that I wrote right here. I'm not going to get into do too much details, but just in a few words. The first steps, once we build our prog program, we want to make it executable. So the first one would be a program that calls preprocessor. We're just going to go over our code, and it's going to look for all the hashtags. Hashtags are just going to be some information for our preprocessor to do things, to include files that we need to include, or to change macros. I'm not going to get into too much details about it, but that would be the first step. Then the second step would be a compiler. The compiler, basically, what it's going to do, and it's going to invoke the other processes as well, is going to take our code, which we're going to write in C++, and turn it into a machine code so our computer can basically run it. And all of those processes are going to be happening via the C++ builder. We're just going to do a build process, which I'm going to show in a few minutes, and everything is going to happen. So a few more words about the C++ Builder. So the programming itself, we're going to do it on a Windows machine, right? This is one of the requirements that you all have a Windows machine to download it. But once the program is, is done and ready, we can deploy it on different kind of systems. So in one place, one builder, we can write programs that will support different uh, frameworks, like Android and iPhones and OS's like Mac and Windows. In the builder itself, once you have more advanced knowledge, you can actually, in a very nicely visual way, you can make different kind of GUI interface. GUI is a graphical user interface programs. And I'm going to show you a little bit how we do it, but we're not going to go into that. 